The next subtopic is the flow of blood into and out of the heart. We start with the flow of oxygenated blood coming from the lungs into the left atrium via pulmonary veins. Notice that the pulmonary vein have left and right side to bring oxygenated blood from both left and right side of the lung and then enter the left atrium. Next, the blood in the left atrium will be pumped into the left ventricle and then from the left ventricle, the oxygenated blood will be pumped out of the heart via aorta to the rest of the body. The blood in the left ventricle will not re-enter the left atrium because of closing of the AV valve. Similarly, the blood in the aorta will not flow back into the left ventricle because of closing of the semilunar valve. Overall, we can see that on the left side of the heart, blood will enter the left atrium from pulmonary vein and then flow into the left ventricle then out of the left ventricle to the rest of the body via aorta. Meanwhile, on the right side of the heart, deoxygenated blood coming from the body enter the right atrium via superior and inferior vena cava. From the right atrium, the blood will flow into the right ventricle and then being pumped out of the right ventricle into pulmonary artery back to the lungs. Similar to the blood flow on the left side of the heart, the unidirectional flow of blood on the right side of the heart is also maintained by the semilunar valve and the AV valve. You will also notice that the oxygenated blood and the oxygenated blood will never mix. This is because the left side and the right side of the heart is separated from each other by a wall called septum.